Eliud. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Eliud. Let's take our seats. Asante ni sana. Distinguished distinguished leaders, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Yeah, good afternoon, actually. You just crossed the line. Um, let me first uh, say how happy and grateful I am that today we are here in Mavoko on this very important occasion. Let me confirm that actually one Sunday, 11 months ago, I had a conversation in the morning with the two gentlemen, Peter Ndegwa and Joshua Chepkoin, on the big subject that we had all uh, canvassed during the election about the digital space in our country, what technology would do, and how we can work together. They told me, Mr. President, all you have said is very good, but you will have one challenge, that this digital, uh, digitalization and digitization and technology journey has the challenge of the number of people who have smartphones. And they told me, unless you sort out the question of smartphones, and not just the availability, but the affordability of the smartphone, you will continue to experience challenges in that space. And they told me they would do something about it, but they needed the support of government. And I did promise them then that because it was my priority agenda to make sure that every Kenyan has an opportunity to interact with technology and to benefit from the journey of digitization, that I would go out of my way. I did request them to invest. And thank you, gentlemen, for investing. That is the power of the private sector. But I told them, as they invest, as government, we are going to play our role. We are going to make sure that there is a fiscal environment, a business environment that supports investment. We did work with the Treasury, both on the local uh, fiscal uh, requirements and even the East African ones, as uh, Joshua has said. And on top of that, I told them I will do the two things. I will make sure that government policy is supportive, and I also promise them that government will lead the way in being a market for your product. I am very proud that, gentlemen, you can confirm that I have kept my part of the bargain. I not only have uh, provided the policy environment and necessary incentive for you to invest, but as uh, my CS uh, Health has said, we became the first customer and we have, we have bought from you 100,000 tablets that will be used by our community health promoters. And therefore, one of the most important commitments of my administration under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda is to transform inclusion by taking every possible measure to ensure that every citizen has an opportunity to make their contribution to national growth and development and also, in many ways, to benefit from that transformation. Accordingly, the plan has laid down the strategic framework of Kenyans to pursue their livelihoods and vocations more profitably and to access highly improved government services more conveniently 
and more affordably. So far, the response has been strong and encouraging. More land, for example, this year, was put under cultivation in this year's season, and more farmers received subsidized fertilizer and other inputs, and including extension services on a digital platform. For the first time, we managed to cut out brokers, we managed uh, to cut out cartels, who normally gave us so much problem whenever we had a subsidy program. They would buy subsidized fertilizer, repackage, and go and sell it. But this time around, technology helped us to deal with them. And they must be very sad people because they, they, they never got a chance to pilferage our, our fertilizer. And as a result, we have this year's maize harvest, for example, is going to be 15 million bags more than last year. Similarly, millions of hustlers have been able to register with the Hustler Financial Inclusion Fund and received affordable credit that is not necessarily secured by anything other than their ability and their credit rating um, in terms of how they pay. And they can now grow their credits, grow their businesses, and meet other financial needs. At the same time, we are now able to provide Kenyan learners all the way from early childhood development and education stage to the tertiary levels of university, various colleges and institutes, as well as technical and vocational education and training with financial support and capitation in order to improve the quality of facilities, provide more teachers, improve the curriculum, and make education affordable in our institutions of learning. I was having a conversation with C.S. Machogu on the applications that now are online for all our children who are, uh, all our students who are going to our Tibets and our universities. We had to work with the technology providers to make sure that it expanded the capacity for uh, the hundreds of thousands of, uh, of learners who are applying. And I am very confident and I'm very happy that technology had made, has made many things easy, affordable, efficient, transparent, and accountable. Our universal health coverage, as was said ably by CS here, is hoped to a very brilliant start with the recent launch of the Community Health Promoter System, which will provide preventive and promotive health services at the grassroots countrywide and facilitate diagnostic and early detection of conditions requiring curative attention to Kenyans from the comfort of their homes and in all instances free of charge. All these interventions have made unprecedented progress in expanding inclusion, enabling previously marginalized groups and households who are typically the most vulnerable and in need of these opportunities, both in terms of participation and contribution, as well as receiving support and benefits. More households are now involved in gainful economic activity in various sectors, and as the bottom-up economic transformation agenda gets underway properly, this positive change will begin to demonstrate manifest uh, progress. Uh, if, if what uh, CS Nakumicha is anything to go by, we are shedding off a lot of baggage and a lot of unnecessary paperwork and a lot of cumbersome processes and making it simpler because of the benefit of technology and because of uh, digitization. The provision of various services and opportunities to Kenyans has, re has relied on finding the most efficient means of expanding access and enhancing inclusion, devising the best modalities of guaranteeing security and reliability and formulating the most effective instruments of evaluating the nature 
and extent of need and fixing it using technology, digitization, and building of networks. Our farmers interact with extension services without leaving their homes or farms because extension officers facilitate them to register and submit relevant data to update, to update their input, what type of mechanization they want, what kind of diseases they encounter, and what kind of pest control measures that would make them much more productive, as well as all other needs. Similarly, the National Education Management Information System cons constantly updates relevant information about every learner and their socioeconomic background to ensure that the means testing instruments remain accurate and reliable in determining the learner's level of financial and other needs. The ASLA Fund has been able to serve millions of Kenyans from all walks of life, especially and consistently and conveniently and repeatedly lending billions of shillings in unsecured loans and recovering it without need for drastic, expensive, or time-consuming uh, procedures. We are going to celebrate one year anniversary of the Hustler Fund uh, shortly, maybe next month. And we, we have wonderful stories. In fact, I had an occasion last week. You can see my hair is newly shaved. So my barber uh, came to do, uh, to, to do some work on what is left of my hair. It is, and in the process, uh, he asked me, uh, Mr. President, um, you know, my savings on the Hustler Fund is now 5,600. Why is it the case that my limit is still at 5,000? Why don't you consider the fact that I have saved 5,000? Why don't you increase my limit? And it was a fundamental question. I have since put that question to the CS. I have put that question to Safaricom. I have put that question to all the other stakeholders in that space. Because we need to answer that gentleman. Because the next time he comes to visit me, I need to have answers for him. I was, I was very honest with him, I didn't have an answer at that point. So, I mean, there are many Kenyans out there who truly know what it means to have access to affordable credit and how much difference it makes for their businesses. We have also transformed the provision of public services by making it possible for Kenyans to access them online through their mobile devices. Community health, agricultural extension support, Hustler Fund, and the National Education Management Information System are not only the only services whose provision has been transformed by digitization and automation. The government has increased the number of public services accessible through digital services to over 13,000, freeing up the people to concentrate on their lives and livelihoods and go about their business without the necessity of queuing, the necessity of traveling to try and access government services. And I must congratulate uh, the Ministry of ICT working with the Ministry of Interior for what they are doing around that space. I did agree with them. I gave them some timelines on where we needed to move. I think many people did not believe that it was possible to move government services substantially to be available on the digital space. We had only 320 government services a year ago. Today we have 13,000 and we are well on course in making sure that by the end of this year or shortly thereafter all government services will be available online. Already, um, the digital ID 
which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months. I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December we will be able to launch digital ID where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris or their fingerprints and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. And um, the most, the proudest part of it is that we don't have to spend the billions that we have spent on all the other uh, manenos, as uh, all of you know. We recognize that this digital transformation will be sustained by significantly reducing the cost of digital access throughout the country. This is why our digital superhighway strategy is critical for national socioeconomic transformation. And in the first instance, we want Kenyans to access services efficiently through fast, secure, and affordable digital connectivity from the comfort of their homes and households. Secondly, we want more Kenyans to access opportunities to develop careers in the digital technology space by having the chance to innovate, research, develop, and collaborate even when they are based back home in the village or any mta for that matter. Thirdly, it is time to usher in Kenyans in their millions fully into the promise and possibilities of the local, regional, and global digital economy. The establishment of last mile fiber optic and local connectivity infrastructure, as well as the development of grassroots digital hubs go a long way towards enriching the Kenyan experience of a transformed government services and digital economy. We are aware that the cost of smart devices remain prohibitive for many and that as a result constitute a significant barrier to universal inclusion and access to various services and opportunities that are intended to be freely available otherwise. To overcome this critical challenge to the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, we identified the production of affordable smart digital devices as one urgent priority, as I said earlier, that will guarantee the possibility of universal digital access for the people of Kenya to enjoy more and better services and opportunities in both public and the private spaces. The provision of affordable digital smart devices is no longer just about mobile telephony and fintech penetration. It is also about universal access to private and public sector goods and services as the driver of national transformation. It is not possible for transformation to be at the rate, at the scale, and at the speed that we want unless we have the devices to assist us unlock that potential. We have pledged to support this development by providing infrastructure that will spur digital signatures and the implementation of digital national identity. This message here is that this time round we are going digital in full on a large scale across every sector because Kenya's transformation is going to be a digital transformation. It is just simply put that way. This event therefore has far greater significance in terms of enhancing digital experience for millions of Kenyans. The launch of a locally assembled smart device is a brilliant milestone in and of itself, but its broader implications for both public and private sector efficiency, integrity, and security that will bring out 
its significance in full is what we are waiting to experience. I congratulate the investors and as I said, two fundamental things, maybe more, are going to be achieved by this device. When I see 300 Kenyans employed in this facility that will produce 3 million devices, and those 3 million devices will be 30% cheaper than if we had imported them complete as units. So we have the benefit of jobs for our young people and we have the benefit of a much more affordable product. I was also able to persuade these two gentlemen and the other investors to preload eCitizen, the platform upon which we are delivering government services on the phones so that every Kenyan who buys this phone will have government services ready on the phone and they don't have to go looking for it. Please, uh, gentlemen, Muliniambia Pale, please. See, tuna, tuna kubaliana vile tumakubaliana. So, mambo mawili tumakubaliana na hawa wangwana. <laughs> Sio yale matatu ni mawili. <laughs> tumakubaliana ya kwanza. Uh, ile faida, tulikubaliana na hawa jamaa ya kwamba mambo ya simu ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza eh, kununua kwa gharama ambayo inatoshana na mwananchi na simu ambayo inaweza kutumika kama smartphone wananchi wengi vile mmesikia hapa asilimia karibu sabini wananunua simu ya mulikamwizi kwa sababu ya gharama ya simu lakini hiyo mulikamwizi haiwezi kufanya mambo mengi ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida angetaka afanye haiwezi kuwa na data haiwezi kuwa na nini ni inasumbua sasa inakuwa tu ni simu ya kupiga simu kwa voice ama makelele so sasa tunataka kuhamisha tupeleke katika hatua ya pili na kupitia kwa E, kiwanda hii ambayo imetengenezwa hapa ya kwanza tumepata ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya ajira ambayo ilikuwa mahali pengine ambazo hizo simu zinatengenezwa jambo la pili tumepata simu kwa bei ambayo ni asilimia thelathini chini ya ile equivalent simu ambayo tungenunua ya tatu sasa tunaweza ku customize hii simu. Nimesema hii simu ambayo sasa tume launch leo ni smartphone. Bei yake vile niliwaeleza wa Kenya ni dola hamsini Nilikuwa nimebagain na hawa jamaa dola arobaini wameniambia lazima iwe dola hamsini kwa sababu wameweka data pia huko ndani. Kwa sababu wananiambia hii simu smartphone haitakuwa ya faida kama huko na simu ambaye kazi yake tu ni wewe kupiga makelele ya voice wakaniambia lazima tuweke 10 dollars ya data ndio isaidie so that we can unlock the full potential of a smartphone it's good to have the phone but it's also better if you have it with the data that is going to support the usability of this phone because it's not just a phone like Malika Mwizi where you make uh, voice calls and Namba ya tatu, nime, namba ine nimekubaliana na wao lewa subui Nimewashawishi ya kwamba watuweke e-citizen kwa hii simu Ili mwananchi ya kinunua hii simu tayari e-citizen iko hapo Anaweza kutafuta na kufikia services ama huduma ya serikali Ile gava mkononi sasa itakuwa ndani ya hii simu As a as a as a standard na nambari ya tatu mumesikia ya kwamba kuna inchi zingine wako na mbinu ya vile ya kuwakikisha kwamba tunarahizisha wananchi wengi waweze eh, kufikia kununua hii simu na kufaidika na ile eh, services yote iko ndani ya hiyo simu na capacities ya hiyo simu 
So tumekubaliana na hawa wangwana tena warudi wapange mawazo yao na ideas na wasaidiane na wizara yetu ili kufikia Januari tuende katika hatua ingine Kwanza iwezekane kwamba mwananchi anaweza kulipa deposit ya hiyo simu na alipe ile pita ananiambia kulipa mdogo mdogo So hii simu ambayo ni ya karibu shilingi elfu saba na tano kuanzia Januari tunataka iwezekane mwananchi alipe deposit ya elfu moja na hiyo ingine alipe polepole shilingi ishirini kila siku tukienda mbele ndio wananchi wengi waweze kulipa hii simu Mimi nataka nimwambie bwana Walo na timu yake ya CIE na hawa wengine nyinyi mwenzao muende mfikirie vile tutapunguza hii bei tena you know muende mfikirie what, what kind of collaboration we are going to work ili mwananchi wa kawaida hii simu ya elfu saba tuweze kama tunaweza kuteremusha tena ikuje shilingi elfu mbili ama elfu tatu hapo mbele na tutajua vile tutashirikiana kwa sababu tunataka simu ambayo itamwezesha mwananchi afanye biashara mwananchi aendelee na communication mwananchi apate services ya serikali ndani yake na tuweze kurahisisha biashara kurahisisha huduma ya serikali na sio lazima mtu aende kwa ofisi fulani ama aone mtu fulani tunaweza kufanya kazi yetu vile tunaendesha biashara ya kukopesha pesa kwa hasla fund hakuna mtu anakutana na mwenzake hakuna komitii hakuna ofisi ya kwenda komitii ni simu na mwenyewe finish tunasonga mbele that's how it should be and that's how we want to deliver government services going into the future um, so i have said i congratulate all the investors my good friends in safaricom jami telecom um, our friends from china congratulations uh, the representative is here asante sana you have already made your mark and claimed your place in the history of kenya's transformation I encourage you to sustain this momentum of innovation in order to support and deepen a culture of digital enterprise, research and development in our country and in order to deliver the dream of Africa's silicon savanna and the power of actualization of our development agenda. This plant affirms our credentials as a global digital economy powerhouse and Silicon Savannah's Africa Hub for innovation and everything technology. I appeal to more investors to take similar decisive action because opportunity still abounds. Just on this factory alone, we can create many more factories. We can create many more suppliers locally. And I insist deliberately locally. I have said that we must be intentional we must be deliberate about growing our manufacturing opportunities, capacity, and potential in Kenya. As I said, and we put it in the budget, we also put uh, the, the, the interventions that have enabled this factory in the budget, that we must grow our local manufacturing uh, capabilities, whether it is in cement, in steel, in timber products, in technology space, it must be intentional. I am very happy also that the conversation I have had with EDAC is that they want us to market these products beyond Kenya. I want to assure you that I will lead the charge in making sure that the products we get out of this factory the products we get from all our other factories have access not just to the Kenyan market, but to the regional market, to the international market as well. Because we can make the finest of products. I am already getting information that our collaborators, the collaborators of uh, Safaricom and Jamii Telecom in this, are already saying the human capital in Kenya is first class. And we have said that before. So we want to deploy this great human capital to get the products that we can use to drive our own transformation, our job creation, 
our export-led economy and be able to uh, grow our economy in that context. Um, we have a pool of talent, as I have said, and human capital available on this side of the world and a government that is ready and uh, that is ready to support initiatives that expand access and create jobs and we want to make devices even cheaper using means like the universal service fund and other interventions and i am happy that uh, the people in charge of universal service fund are here you have heard my pronouncement please work with industry so that that universal fund becomes truly universal by making it possible for more Kenyans to access uh, these uh, devices. I know when I mentioned uh, in one meeting, I attended a meeting of uh, Kenya Chamber of Commerce, and I told them that we were working on a program where we will end up with a $40, $50 device. Many people there were skeptical, like it is always, you know, because uh, that, that is how we are. But I want to persuade you that the power of vision and the power of faith cannot be replaced by anything else, you know? We have many people who, whenever they hear me speak about the future of Kenya, they say, oh, William Ruta has made another promise. I made a commitment about the device, these phones. It looked like a promise. Today it's reality. And it is because of the power of vision and the power of faith. So, you know, it's very difficult for people to see as far as what the vision entails. Many people look at today, at best tomorrow. Yeah? And, and that is how we, we have so many Thomases in between. Oh, uh, you remember the story of Jesus and the uh, people who are told him, oh, Jesus, you know, has risen from the, death and, uh, from the dead. And Thomas was saying, ah, no, you are scanny. Let me, uyo mutu wati munasema ati, ule tu alikuwa amechomwa na na mkuki ati ameamuka hebu niguze mahali alikuwa amechomwa you know that so that's where we are but i want to promise you the same way jesus rose we are going to take this country to the next level and um, that is the power of having a vision and driving our country knowing very well that even in the context of where we are we must never be distracted by the challenges that we have. We must see them as an encouragement to where we want to get as a nation, because we must get there. Kenya is a great nation. Kenya is a great country, a country of tremendous potential. And this time round, we must get it right. And we must take Kenya wherever, it, wherever we want it. And we are going to make the decisions, however difficult, that will take Kenya where we all want. Because when I listen to Kenya, is sometimes we don't have the courage to make the decisions that will take us there. Um, when the president of uh, Singa same category as Kenya a few years ago. Today it is in the first world. When I spoke to the president of Singapore, he told me they made very difficult decisions. In fact, the minister who was in charge of their housing program, the program they are very proud of today, their signature program globally of housing. The minister hanged himself when he made the wrong decision. And so many people were forced to go into modern houses 
they were very happy living in slums because many of them, I'm told, they were complaining, if you move us to this very smart slum, uh, very smart uh, flats on 10th floor, 15th floor, where are we going to make our Changa and our Busa because we are used to making them in the slums? And that was in Singapore. So, good people, we must change this country. I don't think we have another option. Yeah? And the young people who are pushing us, we have millions of Kenyans, talented, hardworking, educated. They are looking for opportunity. We cannot postpone their future. We must make the decisions now to enable them get the opportunities tomorrow. And I promise you one thing. I will make all the decisions necessary to make Kenya the great country we all want it to be. Without a doubt. Finally, I like the mantra, Pawam Kononi, or that's what <laughs> this good gentleman uh, told me. It, it fits perfectly with what we are all trying to achieve. A more empowered digital population with a capacity to explore all opportunities. Asante Nisana, I wish you well. And uh, even to my media guys, my friends, the good people who write many stories about me and all the other stories, and they are very good people because they are creative, they are innovative, you know, in, in what they do. I, I think I still see you guys with the uh, iPads. You know, they are a bit old-fashioned. Uh, no, not iPads, but, uh, you know, writing pads. Now, this uh, factory here can make for you digital parts. You know? You have a story. Digital parts. And when you have a story, this is good. It is okay. We, it's good for us. That's what society is made of. And uh, you will never hear me complaining about your stories. Write them. Ile ile ya ukweli tutaendelea kusoma ile ambayo iko na maneno imeongezwa kachumbari tutasoma pia lakini we will stay focused because we must take the country where we all want it to be to be and uh, they are also making a contribution towards keeping us on the straight and narrow ile kitu tu mnawauliza kwa sababu sasa tumewatengenezea factory hapa itawapatia digital hub uh, digital parts hata mimi mnikumbuke wakati muna eh, tangaza dividends kwa mwisho wa mwaka hata mimi mtumie kidogo eh? at least nimewapangia ka kitu si ndio so because we need a whole of uh, society approach and we must uh, this is our society and every part of our society matters in making us a wholesome nation Congratulations to all of you. My very best wishes uh, to the investors in this uh, facility. And I look forward to many more. I know there is a whole chain. We want now the parts that we are currently importing. The next stage is for us to manufacture many of the parts here in Kenya so that we create more industries to work with this as a value chain and uh, we must target that at least in the next five years every Kenyan must carry a smartphone and um, I also want to say that uh, this importation of phones has given us a big problem I know we are battling with KRA is having difficulties because many phones are imported through all manner of uh, places and uh, our statistics is that close to almost 50 percent of all the phones imported into kenya people don't pay tax so i think one way of closing that gap is to manufacture all phones locally so otherwise thank you very much my very best wishes, good luck with what you're doing, and God bless Kenya. A round of applause for His Excellency the President. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.
for your remarks.